Well, how do the chums as I, Captain Stephen, today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse. I have got another building type video. So my last building type video, I showed you how to make this super sweet and fandangly truck. Heck yes, I did. If you want to see that video, I put a card up there. But this video is how to resize any object in No Man's Sky. Okay, so step one, choose an item that you can shrink and grow, like this, like a cabinet or a table or whatever. And then swap to wire mode, so I press triangle to swap to wire mode. I've put down one end and established it. The other end, I'm leaving it free, wavy-davy. Yeah, you don't actually establish the other end. All you then do is then press triangle to come back out of the wire mode, so you go back to your object. And you can see here it's now sort of tethered as if it was on a wire. You can see it all leaning and going all weird angles and stuff. And then just make it large or small. Small. I'm going to go for large first of all so we should get a big chubby wire up here and now all I'm going to do is press R2 and triangle at the very same time so we go so R2 and triangle same time boom and look at that I've got a chunky big fat wire heck yes I have lovely so now I can make giant objects using this wire and I'll show you how in a moment but now I'm just going to repeat those steps again but I'm going to make a tiny wire a teeny tiny wire so here you go I've established one end I'm dragging it out and now I'm just going to press triangle again to go back into this menu but this time I'm shrinking the object you can see there it's tethered you can see it's leaning so just do that little test make sure it is leaning make sure you manage to hit it simultaneously at the same time and then boom again Again, R2 and triangle at the same time. Boom, and there we go. We've now got ourselves a small wire. Now you're probably thinking, is that a small wire? Well, I tell you what, I'll put down a normal wire. And I'll show you what a normal wire looks. We'll put like that in between these two in a moment. But there you go, big chubby wire, little tiny wire. And you can tell that it's big or small, well, obviously, to be fair. But you see these little cable ends. You can see they're teeny tiny or giant. Yes. So here we go. Let's put down a normal wire. So if we go back into my build menu, I've just got to choose an object before I can jump into bit wire mode. There we go. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's, that's a normal wire in the middle okay so now I've got my wires there that one in the middle is just for show okay so that's your standard wire in the middle and then you've got your big wire you've got your small wire heck yes so that's step one get your wires established you want a big wire and you want a, a small wire you don't have to have the medium wire I've just put that just as an example next off so step two Okay, so for this demonstration, I'm going to be using shelving. Yes, I got this on a derelict freighter. Not everyone's got this super swangly sort of shelving, but there are other shelvings available in the menu. And what I want to do is put a load of NPC terminals on here. You know, like the uh, weapons agent and stuff. Yes, I saw Moose Gaming do this, so I sort of got the idea from Moose. So yeah, I put a link to Moose's channel up in the top right corner. So this resizing of everything, I'm not 100% sure who originally found this, but where I've seen this done plenty of times is with my good friend Scottish Rod and also Beeble Bum Go. Check the video description for a load of awesome base builders and who I've sort of picked this up from. So anyway, let's move on with this tutorial. So at the moment, all I'm going to do, uh, I think I balls up on this first one, so here we go, let's try, just, just try placing this, and then I'll walk you through the steps when I actually get it right, because it's all about timing. It's this last R2 and, yeah, see, now I balls up. Yeah, you have to press R2 and triangle at the same time as the last step, and it's it's always the last step where I fudge up. right -o. so here we go, let's start that off again. So yeah, at the moment it's just drawing wires all over the place. So here we are. Right, so this is how you do it. So basically, what I need to do is choose the object that I want to rescale. So as I mentioned before, I want to be using the terminals. So I'm going to be using, say, this one first of all. Now what I want to do is jump into the build camera. I find it easier in the build camera. So here we are. So I'm just pressing in my sort of hat stand to go into the build camera. Build camera mode enabled. And I'm pressing the triangle and square at the same time. So yeah, that's the toggle wire and also toggle editing mode buttons. And yes, I'm just selecting the wire and I'm pressing R1 for duplicate to go into duplicate mode and you can see here it's got the end of the wire now where I put the end of the wire is where the terminal is going to appear and I just want to press R2 and triangle at the same time and it should place down the terminal there we are ha it freaking worked freaking ninja it in there we are we've got ourselves a terminal and it's a tiny terminal tiny tiny terminal someone in the dude oh he was small for a second there for a split second did you see that he was teeny tiny just for a split second every time you come and visit your base they will be teeny tiny when you get closer to them though they will pop up to their normal size if you can keep away from them if you don't go near them they will stay small the weird thing is if you make these terminals super big 
They stay as giants forever. Here you go. Look, I'll show you what I mean. So if I just, uh, let's find another terminal. We'd use a scientific terminal and we'd make a giant Corvax. That would be freaking nice, wouldn't it? So we go, let's go and where is it? Oh, I'm in the different menu now. There we go. So let's go on down. Let's get the scientific. I want to make a giant Corvax. So scientific terminal is at the bottom of here, isn't it? Why am I? Okay. Yeah, let's, there it is down there. Let's go for that. Then scientific terminal. Boom. Awesome. Right. So if I just come off of here, I'm going to go back into my build camera. Lovely. And I'm going to press triangle and square at exactly the same time. And that should take us into the build sort of mode or with the edit mode, I should say. And I'm just going to press R1 on the big cable this time, chums. And you see there, I've got a big cable head. Nice. And I'm going to place it here and I'm going to press R2 and triangle at the same time. And hopefully it should. Oh, fudge. Balls. I missed time that one. <laughs> ah, some biscuits. Okay, so you can see here, it's not all that easy to get the timing right, but at least you're getting to see, you know, even myself, I do balls up on this. So if it doesn't work for you, just try again. So here we go. I'm going to hit R1 on there to duplicate this large one. I've got a big cable head. R2 and triangle at the same time, and boom! There we go. Second time lucky. Haha, <laughs> so you number five, uh, number three. Three is the lucky number and all that stuff. I did it on my second try. Awesome. Let's call on in the Corvax. Oh, look at him. It's freaking massive. And it doesn't matter how close you go. You can keep him nice and massive. I mean, technically, I wonder if I could put the small desks on top of that big, big desk. That'd look freaking weird, wouldn't it? Anyhow, well, there we go. We've got this little chap here. So there we are, people. Now, I want to get all of my shelving racks with little dudes on. So yeah, I'm going to try and do that. So here we go. Let, let's, let's give that a go. So I'm probably going to delete that big one. And I'll be right back with you. And hopefully, we all can reconvene while I'm trying to make teeny tiny terminals on my shelving units so yeah here we are brilliant so i've now shrunken down this little chappy you can see here i've got a few on there at the same time now so I'm, I'm trying to do my weapons terminal so i'm going for the small wire duplicate lovely got my little wire head i'm going to place it right here kaboom and hopefully r2 and triangle and hopefully it's going to magically appear let's give this a go and kaboom oh fudge did that not work that did not work <laughs> Okay, so what's the second time lucky, hopefully. Let's try this again then. Awesome. And uh, yeah, let's go back onto there. So that's triangle and square. Then over to here. R1 on the small cable for the duplicate. Duplicate. There we go. We got our little wire head. And then it's just R2 and triangle. And boom. Yes. Second time again. Yes. Awesome. Oh, fudge. It's facing the wrong way. Okay. I wonder if I can use move to actually move this now that it's small. So that's R2, I believe, isn't it, to actually move? Oh, <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, you're fudging awesome. There we go. I can just spin that around. Perfect. So there you go, people. Once you've made it small, you can just use the move function and move it around to your heart's content. Oh, that makes things a lot easier for placement. Heck, yes, it does. You know what? I'm going to shrink down this teleport as the last thing now. As you can see, I've got all my terminals sitting on this shelf. It looks like I've got a load of little elves for Christmas time to help me out, doesn't it? Right, OK. Let's uh, see if we can shrink this portal. OK. <laughs> and we'll put this on the lower shelf, I think. But there's not much room for me to do so. So I'm just going to place the portal somewhere over here. And has that worked? Uh, no, I mistimed that. Ah, for fudge's sake, second time. It seems to be second time every time for me, chums. I never get it right first go. So yeah, just persevere. It's it's all about timing, and my timing is terrible. Okay, so there we go. Let's give that a go. Let's see if we can get it. Yes! <laughs> second time lucky yet again. Second time. It must just be a mental thing now, people, for me. You know, <laughs> I've got it locked in. It works on the second try. It should work on your first try. If you've seen Beeble Bo Bum Go or Cubal, so yes, Cubal Gaming has got an awesome guide on this where he shows all the button presses and everything for every sort of console. In fact, so does Beeble Bum. So I've put, I'm going to put the links to their videos inside of this video description because in all fairness, I watched their videos to get this right. Heck yes. So there we go, chums. There's my shelving rack. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time for with another building video from Captain Steve. Bye-bye. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe and I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.